Welcome to Truthzilla bonus episode. Ooh, it's been a while. I got a Scott. I got a Megan. Yeah. The 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 beautiful Megan, the lovely Scott. Excuse me, it's been a while. Incredible. In- I was like, what about the beautiful yeah, Megan? An I'm, incredible. I caught Ed. myself. I caught Thank myself. You. So um <laughs> so yeah, it's good to good to be back. Good back. to see you guys. Back, yeah, baby. Yeah, we're back. So we, you know, we we've just been we've had so many guests, right? Yeah. We haven't done like yeah. just Swamped. a. a just the three of us in a while. So yeah. uh, we just kind of wanted to touch base. It's interesting things going on in our town today. Yeah. Megan, you saw some interesting things yeah, today. What the hell, you want to tell me what's going on in good old Eugene, okay, Oregon? Okay, well, we've been seeing it a little bit. So I live in South Eugene, and I don't know. And I and I was all over Eugene today on purpose looking for it, and I saw it like... Well, I, South Eugene, first of all, that's kind of like, you know, this we call the South Hills, right? So yeah. it's very hills. You know, it's kind of like, you know, nice houses and stuff like that. So anyway... Oh, I, oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say like no, yuppies, trying, trying paint, older people. Trying to paint like the, like a picture of, like what the place is. There's no cell service too, which is totally preposterous. Isn't that bizarre? Because like this is like the most affluent part of town, like has no cell service. I don't understand how that works. It's anyway, true, whatever. but anyways, there keeps being um, all all over on in the South Hills. There keeps being all these cars, and on the driver's side of the car, but on the back seat. Mm-hmm you know window Mm -hmm. there keeps being these this time written down like you know how if you go to get your car washed they'll like if you pay for premium they'll put on your windshield with like a writing marker and they'll Mm -hmm. say like p with a circle so you can get the expensive wash well there i'm seeing that all over these cars on that back window it's like you know 120 or 1152 or you know there's like all these different times and it's all over the place well you messaged us early on in the day and you're like guys because these cars driving around with i just couldn't understand it and i was i'm driving around with my two sons and we're and so I'll, i'll tell you my first initial thought my first initial thought was like oh my god we're under attack this is like some sort of like terrorist like false flag like terror quote unquote terrorist right like right like and i was like, just like it sounds virtuous super well, virtuous okay. See, i thought this was some sort of coordinated <laughs> false flag attack yeah. dude yeah. i so anyways well i i ended up being at a stoplight right next to a lady who had this time stamp on her back window and i was like well she's not wearing a mask maybe she'll talk to me through the window because she didn't appear to be like you know no. n- like normal south eugene masky in her car alone Ugh. so i roll my window down and her windows are cracked i'm like ma'am ma'am and i'm waving i said hi i'm like and she she rolled it down for me all the way and That's... i was like well i almost thought i had a friend for a minute because wow. she rolled her window all the way down wow. and she was i was like hey i said i've been noticing that time stamp on cars like all over you know all over the neighborhoods here i said can you tell me what that's for she goes oh she goes that's for the vaccine it's the 15 minutes after you took your vaccine oh. a time stamp for 15 minutes oh. after you took your vaccine oh. okay oh all quietly over town. all over town ta- so we were literally driving around town my kids and i because then i messaged the guys and i was like you guys are not gonna fucking <laughs> believe this shit so then my boys and i were driving around town I'm like okay guys i'm gonna get as many pictures as we can and send it to the guys so we're driving around and the more you look for it they're everywhere and what i want to know is so it's the 15 minutes right so you're t- so i am obviously not going to take the vaccine never going to take the vaccine i don't know what the mm-hmm. situation is this is what i it, picture in my mind i have no idea if this is accurate still i know there was when they were setting up the vaccine tents down at the fairgrounds they had military personnel there it was under heavy military yeah. guard right i think that's where we're still doing it. i'm so. thinking it still is so here's my question if you voluntarily go in to get this experimental shot is the timestamp because this is what I'm picturing. Are they assembly line people in their cars one after the next after the next and they're giving you a shot in your arm through your open window and they write on your car <laughs> when 15 minutes from that moment is to make sure if you don't drop fucking dead in that 15 minutes then the military guards are going to let you leave. Yeah. And what happens if you do start having a reaction? Are you not allowed to leave? Fuck that. I could mm-hmm. not believe it. My head was exploding. And they're everywhere. They're parked. No. Hours have gone by since the last time stamp I'm seeing on these vehicles. Why are they leaving the numbers up? Yeah. That's, I want I, someone I'm to a- you, answer I'm in the show notes. Why. why? I'm telling you, some Prius drove through there and said, I want the world to know I got this thing. What do you ever you got to do? Put it on there. And then there was a Prius, two, two cars back, said, do that to mine too. But it's like every, every single person. So she said something to me as... After she said the thing, she goes, oh, it's for 15 minutes after your vaccine. And then she said something else, which neither of the boys or I caught. But I I really want to know, like, what is the reason for leaving? Are they telling you you need to leave it up? Because if you leave it on your window for a certain amount of time, like, what no. is the point? Like, they leave not everybody can be that virtuous. Is that really what well, it have, is? Have you ever met anybody that did CrossFit? Yeah. Have they ever talked about anything else to you besides CrossFit? I guess. I want to do some CrossFit. Well, I'm just saying, like this is this is how the vaccine is, right? Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, I hear it every day at work. Anyone who's gotten the vaccine oh, yeah. is talking to everyone else 
who got the vaccine or is planning oh, yeah. on getting the vaccine about and the they're vaccine. They're so proud. They are. They're like, yep. look at me. I got it. And so here's one today. Like, so my this, so the HR lady comes in, right? And oh, she's nice. she's doing the 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 head scans, you know. So uh. they, they take temperatures. They're still doing this. Do you still do you let this. her put it to your temple, or do you tell her to put it at your wrist? wrist? Uh, wrist. She does it on my temple. So it, it's, you're like, uh, listen, they're like wrist, fucking me, like, and I'm doing the yeah, best I fucking can. Just, no, I hear you. I'm just. Curious. I just I just don't talk to anyone I about anything at this job I'm because so, I just know trying to get through if, your day. I mean, you know, our point of view is gets you fired. So that's just how it is. But here's here's no way. I need to finish my saying here. What I'm saying. So she comes in and she's talking to another. She talking about her vaccine to another vaccine person, right? Right? And she's she said, you know, did you hear about the um the, the which one is it the Johnson and Johnson that they just pulled, you know? And she's like, yeah, I guess it was just like seven, but there was like seven million people who who took it. So it's like it's just stupid. It's just like they'll they'll just it's it's just nothing to worry about. It's like it's, no, you know, and I'm just like and it's I, coming I, out I of just, their mouths. I'm in just public? I just want to like look at her. I'm like, and she's probably. 28 and i'm probably like i just want to like what percentage chance do you think you had of dying from coronavirus that you were yeah. willing to risk getting a blood clot and dying from a vaccine yeah what yeah. the fuck is wrong with that like yeah. that just like it's just you only see what you want to see man you it's only true. see what you want to see but she wanted to be able to tell all the other people that hey check out i got a vaccine look at my car it's on the window right like that's how i see it that's how i see it you know and to be fair like i love her she's she's super nice she's great She's like she's a really nice person. She's all but the way it, misinformed and ignorant. Totally, exactly. Yeah. It's it's underinformed and over socialized. It's exactly what no no agenda says all the time. That we we live with so many of them right now. But the, the media is made they they've made these zombies right? right. We live amongst them. The zombies so. are everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I think my argument was like we should go right. Zombie, zombie alert! <laughs> I loved that. Windows. I need to get one of those get windshield Sharpie, markers. Like zombie. Yeah. Well, I want to do it where I'm not going to damage their car for real. Exactly. I can just wipe it just, down. Just the same, the same like, like a zombie. Stamp, Maybe that's what the boys stamp. and I will do tomorrow yeah, because zombie. I just have my boys this week. It's just me and my two little guys, and so we were able to do like these, va- you know, these little side adventures. Yeah. We're going to go on a hike on Friday, but I think on Thursday. Yeah. I think on Thursday we're going to go around with an expo marker and write. Yeah, zombie. <laughs> so virtuous. virtuous. Guys, this is totally okay because they can wipe it off. Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm not going to really do that. If anybody I has zombie should. or so virtuous in Eugene, Oregon, we me. didn't do it. It was me. <laughs> now I'm going to have to pick a different thing <laughs> if I do yeah. it. I've already gotten <laughs> enough flat tires since we started this podcast. Oh me too. Gosh. I've gotten several as well. Yeah, so. and That's true. We all did for the yep. like that within that couple weeks of yeah, each other. I've, I've had a couple now, so. Yeah. Dirty bastards. Wow, wow, um, wow. Well, yeah. I think we just really wanted to check in with you guys and just yeah. kind of give a little update and just say hi, really. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're glad to be still connecting with you. We're, we've been doing some some premium bonus, premium bonus content yeah. as well, but we haven't done like just a, a regular bonus. Yeah, we've been doing like a couple a like interviews a week and then a premium bonus, but like this is just like old school Truezilla bonus episode. But I was going to yeah. say, guys, if you want to, you want to, because Ed was just talking about his job, like mine, it's it's so frustrating. Like, guys, go over to, like, Rockfin and do, do a premium Rockfin account. Go over to Patreon. Support us on Patreon, you guys, so we can quit our jobs. Blow out of there. And we'll film it. We'll <laughs> totally, film it, dude. Totally. I can't Ooh, wait. Ooh, if Help you me. are ever going to do it, yeah. I get to be there, Help you guys. me go walk For into sure. my boss and, and just give him the big old F you with my mask <laughs> off and just, like, cough as I leave the building, right? I want to do this full time, dude. I want to make documentaries. Yeah. I'm writing a book right now that I'm trying to get yeah. done. You guys, like this, there's we got big things. So yeah. if you get any value out of the show, come support the show, man. It's yeah, great. and really, we've been doing um, uh, our premium content They're on great. Rockfin. We've been doing it with Clown Town update. Clown Town update. So baby. um, and we've been trying to go over like the the weekly news each week and just kind of give you yep. what what our take on what's going on. So I think, um, we're I, think gonna, I think it's it's going pretty it's good. Great, and we're yeah. gonna test out some new technology this week. Kind of do like a, a thing with Jigger. So what technology? like it's just like a streaming type of deal maybe type uh, we, of deal. we got Neuralinks. So we got Neuralinks. we're gonna yes, try exactly. to transmit our yeah. thoughts yeah. into the matrix <laughs> system and uh yeah like live streaming through one of those platforms you mean kind of sort of like 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 less less live streaming but more being able to have the functionality of like screen sharing so when we're talking about the news articles we can like pull them up and like kind of just like do this and that blah 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 so anyway yeah so anyway stuff we're testing out we're innovating over here at truth mm-hmm. you know what i mean we're innovating in the right direction Man, I just, it's so cool though. Like, we're just feeling so much love from you guys out there. Like, it's so cool. You guys, if you knew what I, if you knew what I knew about the stuff that we got coming up on this show. Oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys, just and stay we, tuned. Like, we might slip yeah. it out if you watch some premium yeah, content. Yeah, we, we do. We we've talk been, about we've been guys. doing that. Yep. So. But we got all, pretty much all of through May booked. And also, I want to say too, there's a lot of shows out there that have been reaching out try, uh, that, we're, that we want to collaborate with so bad. 
um we're, we're trying to open up maybe some more interview slots here you know what i mean like we're, we're working on it and you have not been forgotten all of you out there you know what i mean um you know i'll just give you guys shout outs right now you know you guys if you guys want some legit shows go check out um i'm just gonna pull it up right here um dun, 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 say something dun. profound come on uh, <laughs> we need to come up with a jingle that we sing during these moments because I feel like that people want elevator music but better. We need Truezilla music. Well, I, I've often thought that we should record some like kind of transition music kind of thing because there's we got some musicians sitting here so we could we could yeah, easily do yeah, this. Yeah. So um, we, it's you know there's so many things in the works. Yep, yep, yep. We'll all see right, what so, happens. So we've got uh, we've got all kinds of folks here. So I'll, I'll edit that out. But anyway. So here, here's some of the folks that we are still on the list. You know, conspiracy oh, theology. Okay. Ryan, we have not forgot about you. Bootsy Greencast, we have not forgot about you. Rained out Rantcast over on Twitter, dude. Like you've been representing and getting censored hard, man. We have not forgot about you, Lindsay. Lindsay, you know who you are, Lindsay, uh, on YouTube. Uh, interview with Darby, we've not forgot about you. Noble CFR News, Screaming Real, and our good friend Paranoid American. Ooh. We're gonna we're gonna get down with some stuff here, you guys. So. Um, oh, uh, Modern Retro Radio. Modern Retro Radio. We got you guys. Like We're going to get you guys all on there uh, here soon. We just, uh, it is just what it is, man. Like our, our interview, our schedules are a little bit constrained and we can only get together certain times and, you know, it's kids. one of those things. So, kids, it comes work, on right now. help us escape the Matrix and then we'll get all these shows on, right? And there we go. There we go. All right. So, anyway, guys, love you all so much. We should let Maddox say goodnight. Maddox, yeah. Maddox, come here, buddy. Give him a mic. Come here, you. Give him a mic, yo. Right, how are we gonna? How are we closing out normally? Yeah. Well. All right. Say. Until thank next you for time. sitting in with us, and we wish you intellectual prosperity. Yeah, do it. Come on, right here. <laughs> say thanks for sitting in with us. Thanks for sitting in with us. And we wish you. And we wish you. Go ahead. Intellectual prosperity. Good night. Good night. Good job.